Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in previous lecture we have seen how to do the heat load calculation. Now suppose let's say if you want to transfer that heat load uh, Revit heat load calculation report into HAP software so that is also possible here. How you can transfer the Revit heat load calculation report into HAP software so I will show you that also see here already we have done the heat load calculation you know that and report we have here uh, see load report in project browser okay so if you want to transfer this report into HAP software so first you have to go to 3d view first open the 3d view like this of your school building now our application menu here you will get the file tab just select that export option is given here just take the cursor near to export here you will get one option GBXML so select that from here you will get the exposed GBXML from here what you have to do you have to check the check use room and space volume okay like this and then finally hit on ok now here you will get the detail of heat load calculation nothing to do just you have to hit on next because already we have done that okay after that save it to the desired location with the name uh, whatever name you want suppose I want to save it in desktop uh, with the name uh, Revit uh, heat load calculation okay Revit heat load calculation I have saved that report in desktop with the name Revit heat load calculation now save it see it will be saved in which file dot uh, file extension name is dot xml save it okay okay so now you have to open the revit soft uh, sorry hap software okay so here i am just minimizing this see here i have opened the hap software just hit on okay after that again you have to hit on okay here is some data are you want to open the new project if you want to open the new project hit on new project and suppose if you have already uh, saved any project you want to open the saved project you can open it from. okay so suppose here you will get the different op uh, option you can see so okay suppose I, I have selected new hit on new then from here always select the latest ventilation standard from the list okay so whatever latest is given you can select it and here some uh, general data in which you need okay you can change the unit and everything from here measurement unit and everything okay so I want to work in uh, because we are working in mat uh, imperial unit so I am selecting English only okay if you are working in metric unit select it from here hit on okay now see you will get the HAP software user interface okay now what you have to do you have to import that gbxml file here in HAP software so for that in project see here you will get the project hit on project from here you will get the option import gbxml file select that import gbxml now where you have saved that file in desktop if you remember with the name revit heat load calculation select that file from that location where you have saved and open it now now see here the file is imported if you want to confirm see do you want to display the translation report no hit on no so now see if you want to confirm see when I'm just hit on this space see each and every space you can see here in which we are we need to supply the condition air and if you want to see the detail of this space that also I will show you just suppose in spaces I have selected account department I want to see the detail of account department double hit on that account department now see in general here you can see the space property in general space name is written floor area ceiling height whatever 10 feet only now we have selected if you remember then uh, from here you can give out the name so here we have to do the some setting because remember in Revit Revit heat load calculation is not a hundred percent correct okay because uh, like for example Revit will not take all the detail uh, like let's say partition suppose in your project if you have a partition wall partition wall means the wall which is 
which is coming between condition and unconditioned space that wall is called as a partition wall suppose if you have a partition wall you know that if any wall is there between condition and unconditioned space so heat will transfer heat will always transfer from high temperature body to low temperature body so means the unconditioned space heat will transfer into your condition space so that heat will also add up but revel will not take that heat see here yeah? any option is given no so when you transfer the revit heat load calculation report in your hab software so you have to do some changes okay and if you remember i have not uh, done the internet and mapping services also okay if you have a internet so you can easily just write down the location you will get it so here first thing is what you have to come here and see the location weather in weather when you double hit on this weather property from here you can change the reason and everything okay so if you are designing for hyderabad as per that you have to write down the details so hyderabad in asia pacific location is india so from here you can select the location india now city so some of city is given here but hyderabad is not given so okay if it is not given uh, the give, if you are selecting the given city so automatically based on that city have will give you the latitude longitude everything but suppose if any uh, city is there like let's say hyderabad only there is no option for hyderabad so you have to manually you have to type hyderabad like this okay type the hyderabad and manually you have to write down the detail once you have type now what is the latitude of that hyderabad longitude each and every detail we have to write down okay so that i will show you how to uh, edit this all detail okay so for that what you have to do here just open the hyderabad okay uh, suppose uh, this detail the properties of air which it, which is showing here if you want to find out the properties of air so for that what you have to do here uh, you have to open the ashray handbook so from the ashray handbook you will get each and every detail okay as per your city you will get the properties of uh, air like latitude and longitude so i will share you and i will show you, show you that also so before that see here uh, just i am writing here latitude of hyderabad when you see in this ashray handbook now you will get around uh, 17 point 86 latitude and longitude of hyderabad is around 78.47 okay so write down that 78.47 and elevation of hyderabad means altitude from sea level is 1788 88 feet okay this all detail i am taking from astra handbook only okay summer dryable temperature for hyderabad is uh, 107 so I'm writing a 107 wet bulb temperature is around 78 okay daily range of Hyderabad is 14 degree Fahrenheit winter dry bulb temperature is 55 degree Fahrenheit and constant wet bulb is 48 so you have to fill this all detail okay now uh, here in design CLG calculation month in which month uh, you feel more hot so that month you have to select from here suppose I'm selecting my two uh, July okay let's say and finally you have to hit on okay so here okay weather property you have done because see remember in uh, I have not selected because I have not internet that is why the internet in mapping service is not shown in Revit but if you have a internet so you will get that location now come to spaces here you want to do the uh, you want to add some so just hit on account department here suppose in general nothing to do outside ventilation here you have to select this space so it is account department because see by default it is given cfm per person uh, taken revit 4.7 0 0.06 cfm per square feet so you have to select the room near about that account department is given here from the list let's say here uh, any account department or related to that like banking banking area yeah see bank fault and safe deposit okay so if account department is not there select that 
as per that you will get the CFM per person value CFM per square feet value now in internal you will get the each and everything already we have entered that detail now here also you will get the detail a roof so roof is not selected here so we are doing the calculation for account department so for account above the account department we do not have any room roof na? because we have first floor above that so just leave it now here in floor when you come so your floor is above condition space floor is above if your floor is above condition means ground floor account department floor is above condition space or unconditioned space so our floor is above unconditioned space na? because we are starting from ground floor for account department I am talking so you have to write down the floor area floor u value everything here okay ambient temperature is what so we know that for Hyderabad 107 unconditioned space 102 and uh, ambient temperature that you have to write down here detail whatever then come here next partition so yeah in our project we have any partition wall yes we have if you want to confirm see open the Revit and see here when you open the ground floor of account department partition wall means wall the wall which is coming between condition and unconditioned so corridor this wall is acting as a partition wall so what is the area of that wall so use the di command measure the area from here see like this you have to measure see it is showing 24 point something i want uh, i don't want in fractional and fit so okay select the unit in length you have to just change as a you want to see this detail only in fit okay select the fit you can take the symbol also from here now see it is showing 24 feet okay so it means the length is 24 height how much we have to take up to fall ceiling height it is 10 feet na? 24 into 10 240 it means we have partition wall area 240 so that detail you have to write down here 240 and the u value for wall partition whatever so when you open the astray handbook you will get that detail 0.4 okay so here I have written in the Astra handbook now here also you have to change it 107 and 102 then uh, here I am writing 60 all of you know that uh, in winter season if your room temperature suppose outside temperature is 55 in winter season so when you come inside the room so temperature will increase a little bit more than outside so how much more 5 degree Fahrenheit as per Astra. if you have a ceiling partition suppose any ceiling is coming between conditions so you have to give the that detail also so here i have taken that value finally you have to hit on that so in this way when you have done the changes so maybe your tr cooling load value will be increased okay so that i will show you in the next lecture that how to transfer after editing all room how to transfer HAP report to revit okay that also i will show you in next lecture so up to here i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one